Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. I wanted to put together this quick little showcase of its only build that I believe is free to play friendly given the right teammates, and it's also very viable even in the late game. While most people are gravitating towards the Meteoric Burst build, which is a good build, allow me to make the case for another build, his pure HP support build. Now, assuming the formula for shields is just a simple formula on the screen, my current level Zhongli with 44,101 hit points can make an 11,352 HP shield every 12 seconds. And against Geo enemies, this shield can absorb at least 28,370 damage. Here you can see my Zhongli being practically invincible against the Hulk Hillichurl. And also against the Geostasis, he's pretty much invincible as well. Now, I am using the two-piece bolide set for the 35% increase in shield strength against the Geostasis, but I need to emphasize, do not use the two-piece bolides for this build. When you switch characters, that 35% boost does not apply for the character that switches in. These overworld fights are generally easy fights to begin with, you'd be fine with or without Zhongli's shield. Now, what about Abyss 12? Well, if you have a good carry, him making that carry nearly indestructible at times is an invaluable asset. Although this type of support Zhongli build probably isn't the fastest way to clear Abyss 12, it certainly is one of the easiest ways and really makes it pretty brain dead. Uh, normally you have to dodge a lot of stuff, well, not when his shield is up. Zhongli allows my squishy carries and even squishier supports to face tank a whole bunch of stuff that they honestly have no business face tanking. And his support doesn't just end with his shield. In this Abyss 12-2 video, combined with a character like Sucrose or Venti, he can extend your DPS window significantly just by dropping his Meteor. Now, this next part is actually what made me decide to make this video, and I found it pretty crazy. If you've been on the receiving end of the attacks from these level 100 Fatui agents in 12-3, you know just how fast your characters can drop like a rock. Just take a look at this. That is the Electro Hammer Fatui slamming down on poor little Klee, and she took no damage. That Electro Hammer Slam has ended many of my 12-3 runs, and here we can just see Klee shrugging them off, and she can just sit through them like a rock star. The build is very simple. Just stack as much HP as possible. I've stacked a little bit of energy regen, crit percent, crit damage, and a bit of attack percent where I could squeeze it out just to make his meteors do a little bit more damage. Um, they still do, you know, I think like 28,000 damage or something like that uh, with no buffs, so that, that's not bad. For the artifact sets, I'm currently using the four-piece Archaic Petra, but because of the kind of random nature of Archaic Petra, you can consider the Noblesse Oblige four-piece instead if you need a more consistent, controllable 20% buff when he casts his burst. For weapons with this build, anything with energy regen is fine. Also, anything that boosts his meteor damage is fine too. You can always sacrifice a little bit of utility for more damage. I recommend considering this rock hard build if you have a squishy high DPS carry that could use a lot more survivability instead of just a little bit more damage. Damage wise, this Zhongli's meteor probably does, I don't know, maybe about half of the damage of a more damage focused Zhongli. Anyway, this video is a bit shorter than my usual videos, but I hope you found it useful. I wanted to demonstrate um, that it's not just the Meteor Burst builds that are viable, and in fact, this uh, pure HP support build should probably carry him a long way as long as you have a carry to carry him. This may also help future-proof you for characters like Xiao that are coming up who are very squishy and could really use a really beefy shield. And as usual, like in every single YouTube video that you've watched in existence, I gotta give this spiel every time. I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have been amazing for my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.